Hello loves, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I've been watching Harry Potter all day. <laughs> and I don't think you guys understand how much I wish I was from England, from the UK. I wish. <sighs> um, my lips are actually a little swollen from blowing my nose. It chaps the top of my lips and they're a little swollen, so they look a little weird. At least to me they do, but yeah. And my nose is all dry. I don't know if you guys can see it, but if you do, ignore it. Please. I'm trying to use makeup to cover up my sick face. Thank you for understanding. Moving on. <laughs> so, um, I want to share with you guys the goodies that I got for Christmas that I am also very grateful for. I am in no way trying to brag or gloat or anything I'm actually just super super grateful for all the stuff that I received and I really want to show you guys what I got there are some makeup products but just a lot of overall goodies and just things that I like that have a lot of sentimental value to me and things that I really wasn't expecting and it's just it was a very very good Christmas even though I got sick on Christmas Day so I'm going to start with makeup. I just kind of want to show you guys briefly what I received and then kind of get into the non-makeup related stuff. So. so the first four makeup related items that I'm actually five. Just kidding. So the first five things I'm going to show you guys are lip products and they're lip products that I have been wanting for a really, really, really long time. And my best friend actually got these for me. That's Katie. You guys have seen her before. And um... She got me lip products that I wanted really badly. So she got me four Too Faced um, La Creme lipsticks. I didn't own any of these. And the first one that she got me is called um, Naked Dolly. And this is just a beautiful nude. Like, I just got nudes because um, these lipsticks are creamy. And I don't really like um, dark colors in a creamy formula. I prefer the matte because they can get pretty messy. But yeah, so I just got this shade, and this is in Naked Dolly. Then I'm going to show you guys quickly, because if not, it's going to take forever. This next one is in Nude Beach, and it is also a nude. Um, Naked Dolly and Nude Beach are very similar. I think one is just a tad, a tad deeper than the other. Just, you can really, like, you really can't tell, but I just wanted them. <laughs> The next one is called Naughty Nude, and this is a more peachy nude, and I really, really like this one. This is the one that I've actually worn already. And then the last one is one that I added on her at the last minute, <laughs> um, and it's called Pink Chocolate. And this is more of like a chocolatey pink. This is Naked Dolly, this is Nude Beach, this is Naughty Nude, and then this is Pink Chocolate. So pretty. Then, she also purchased for me my first Lime Crime product. I have been wanting to try these for so, so long. And this is Lime Crime's Voltine in Red Velvet. It is beautiful. And it is a mother to come off. Holy crap. The last beauty related thing that my sister-in-law purchased for me is actually this... Um, little set from OPI and this is in the pink and it has a very pretty um, <clears throat> like fuchsia pink right here um, this really cool um, iridescent like sheer white it has like a purple iridescent but it's like more white it's really pretty okay and as of lately I've been on like a blush and highlight kick I don't know what's wrong with me I never thought that I would love highlight as much as I do I never thought it would have been possible but I am obsessed and I wanted Moonstone and my dad actually he doesn't even know what he got for me I told him like the price range of what it would all be and he was like okay thank god because I really really wanted these so this first one is Moonstone I'm sure that you guys have seen it it is a very like stark highlight it's very intense very in your face you guys can see that that's like legit like bam highlight up in your face it is beautiful. And then the next one that I wanted, I'm actually, I haven't worn yet. I'm a little scared to wear, but it just looks so beautiful to me that I had to try it. It's like a unique um, highlight shade to me. It is Becca's Shimmering Skin Perfector 
and this is in the shade rose gold and it's so pretty it's this one right here um i got two becca blushes and the mineral blushes and then the first one is in the shade flower child and it is so beautiful it is like a pinky pinky peach it's more pinky than anything it's this one right here and then i got um sweet pea which i love it oh my god but this is such a beautiful beautiful nude i love it now like i said i've been on a blush kick so this first one that i got is in the shade luster and it is a beautiful like peachy gold it's absolutely beautiful and it's this shade right here the next one that i got is in the shade madly and they describe this as, I think, a sea shell pink. So this is what it looks like, and it looks beautiful. And it's this one right here. And then the next one that I got, I was actually really excited for because I read that it might be discontinued. And these are the type of colors that I like, like just weird type of blushes. I don't know. And this is in the shade Douceur. Douceur. I don't know. It is beautiful. It just leaves such a beautiful wash of color. And that's this one right here. And then the last one that I got is actually, I was like so in shock that I was able to get it. Um, NARS has their um, holiday algorithm collection thingy, which comes in this beautiful packaging. And um, they have this one blush in Almeria that I had been wanting to get when my dad gave me the okay to make my Christmas purchases um, it was out of stock and I was so sad and I was like checking the website every day I was checking at Nordstrom, checking at Nars, checking at Nordstrom, checking at Nars and then out of nowhere it was back in stock I ordered this so fast like it's just such a unique color and it's like a tan I think they describe it as a tan rose and it is like a really deep color um that can probably be a little scary but i feel like with a light hand it's gonna give such a beautiful color on the cheeks oh my god it's so pretty this is what it looks like swatched it does look very intense but i'm sure that blended out it's gonna give like a beautiful beautiful wash of color i feel like you definitely if you're really fair you definitely have to have a very light hand with this because if not it's gonna look a little crazy and we don't want that I mean, unless you do. If you do, do you, boo? Do you? So then, the second to last thing that my father purchased for me is this Benefit Dallas Bronzer um, slash blush. Seriously, this could totally be a blush. Um, comes with this. This is what the inside looks like. It is a beautiful, beautiful shade. Um, I love that this is just the right shade where it cannot just be a... Um, bronzer depending on your skin tone I feel like it could also be a blush so it is a great product I heard that this particular shade is gonna be discontinued and that bums me out a little bit so if I really really like this I might get a backup because I, I can't deal with something going away you guys know how I feel about that so um, this is what it looks like it's this one right here what's the only one swatch on my hand and then the last thing is this Tarte Gifted Mascara. Um, this is a little travel size. I wanted to try the travel size before um, purchasing the big one because that's just how I am, especially with high end. And it's just this little thingy over here. I've heard nothing, nothing but great things from so many people. From Nicole from Young, Wild & Polish, from Kathleen Lights, from Beauty by Rosita, which has become my new obsession. I love her so much. I know you ain't watching, girl, but hey. I generally like the same mascaras that they like sometimes and um, yeah I wanted to give this a try. The products were given to me by my beautiful beautiful sister-in-law. She got me this Bare Minerals Unbelievable Eyes kit. I'm just so protein and I love that it comes with a brush. It's super soft. I don't know how I'm going to use this. Maybe like a fluffy, a fluffy crease blush um, but it is a very nice brush and one can never have too many eye brushes or brushes in general. And then it comes with these two loose eyeshadows. 
This one is in the shade Creme Brulee. This shade right here is really, really pretty. Again, it has a buttload of shimmer, but it's not um, chunky. It's actually, it doesn't, you can't even tell, it feels really smooth. So this is beautiful, I love this. And then this next one is in the shade Toffee, and it also has um, shimmer in it, but this is like a much lighter shade. Like this is much more of like a all over the lid, highlight type of shade, it is beautiful. I didn't even realize that she gave this to me when I wrapped my gifts. I just found it now, while I was scrimmaging the rest of the stuff to show you guys. So I don't know if this is a little too TMI, um, and I'm not going to show you guys each thing one by one because, I don't know. I got this, and yeah, that's a bra, very beautiful, beautiful bra. I love prints like this, and it's strapless, and you can like adjust the, the straps however you want. And then she gave me some undies that I'm not going to show because, yeah, I love them, and I love you. Vanessa for getting them for me but yeah I love these very much remember I told you guys in my get to know me tag that my family calls me Stephanie see I wasn't kidding <laughs> this comes in this beautiful 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 box it is so freaking pretty like oh my god and it's the be a bombshell body mist and the body lotion and this smells so good you guys know I'm not really about sweet scents and I prefer body mist and stuff. But this just smells so delicious. It smells very clean and very fresh. And then I haven't opened this, but this is just the body lotion. So yeah, this is beautiful. I love it. So yeah, my sister-in-law, well it's my sister-in-law and my brother. They both like got me all of this stuff. But I know the makeup was my sister-in-law and the bra, um, but they both got it for me with lots and lots of love. She also got me this beautiful Victoria's Secret um, makeup bag and it's so pretty because it looks like it would be lacy. Like you would feel the lace but you can't, it's just a design but it's so pretty. And in this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful box, my sister-in-law and my brother also got me this amazing smelling candle which I've smelled before but I've never gotten it from Bath & Body Works and it's part of like the whole limited edition limited edition scents um oh my god it's so good this is in peach bellini it smells so amazing oh i love it love it love it love it they got me this um little wine decor it's such a beautiful detail such a beautiful um way to decorate your alcohol <laughs> really really love it and i am a i'd rather drink wine any day over like liquor um so this is perfect i love it love it this next thing is probably like when i opened this it made me cry more than anything because of like the sentimental value behind it because they know how much disney world means to me and i love disney so much so they purchased this amazing Mickey Mouse waffle maker. Isn't this the cutest thing you guys have ever seen? And because I just moved out on my own and stuff, um, they were like, oh, this is perfect for your house, perfect for you to use, and it is so cute, you guys. It's so adorable. I can't wait to make waffles. I love breakfast and I love Disney. And to have them two in one makes me so happy. Um, as you know, my best friend got me those five lip products, and then along with that, she also purchased these two like little bracelets and they're so cute because um, again I'm obsessed with Disney World and I'm obsessed with The Little Mermaid and it has um, like a little seashell so I zoomed it in so you guys can see it has like this little emerald and this little seashell and then this one this one has her face right there oh my gosh she's so beautiful and it has a little pearl and another little seashell and it's just so pretty I love it I love them, I love them, I love them. My mama gave me some cash. Um, and then her card was so cute. It says, of all the gifts, of all the gifts in the world, princess, well, she calls me princess. Like, it's a baby, it's so cute. You're a true gift to me. Merry Christmas. I love you. With all the strength in my heart. And she gave me some moolah to spend how I desire and... I always love money for 
any holiday, including my birthday. And my roommate's family are so sweet and they purchased this um like Betty Boob party set thingy and it's so cute. Um she's like all sassy and stuff yeah. and it smells very light. It smells very, very good. Definitely a perfume that I could totally use, which is really rare that both of the um perfumes that I received this year are scents that I would wear because I'm so like ugh, with certain perfumes. And it comes with a body lotion, so it's cute. It was so sweet of them, they totally did not have to do this. And probably one of the favorite things that I have received, again, those that know me um, know my obsession with Disney, and they know how much I love it. My roommate, the most amazing person in the world, who I love so much, purchased these three beautifully stunning, amazing, perfect books. <sighs> I love books. I love to read. I love it. I love it. I love it. And this couldn't be more perfect. Like, this could not be more perfect. The first one that she got, which is the first one that I'm reading, because believe it or not, I still haven't seen the Maleficent movie. And now that I have the book, I refuse to watch the movie before I read the book. And I didn't even know that two of these books were out. I had only seen this one. Um, so yeah, so this is Disney's Maleficent and it is her story and I have become very obsessed with like villain stories. I've always loved the villains and I've always loved their stories, but I think after Once Upon a Time I have become like obsessed. Regina's my favorite character of the show and I just love her story and I love the villain story. I feel like oh, they're so awesome. So this one's amazing. I'm already in um, chapter 3 or chapter 4. Um, I think I'm going to get through these books really, really fast. The next one is Fairs of All. It's on the Evil Queen from Snow White. And this one is so cool. It's called The Beast Within, and it is on the Beast from Beauty and the Beast. These books are just beautiful. Like, do you guys not see, like, this covers? Like, they're so stunning. They're beautiful. And I love that Malef in Maleficent's book, all of this is actually black. Super cool. And then the last thing that I purchased, finally, I'm sorry if this video is eternal, um, but I was very blessed this Christmas and I'm very grateful for it. I got to spend it with my loved ones and I just, I couldn't have been more blessed. Even though I was sick, it was still an amazing, amazing Christmas. Um, this last thing is something that I actually purchased for myself and it's this purse right here. My other purse was so beat. Like, on the inside, all the trimming was all, like, banged up, and, yeah, it was really, really messed up. So, this one, it's kind of big and bulgy and bulky, but I like it because it fits so much crap, and that's what I have a lot of. <laughs> this bag is originally $60, and it was on sale for 50% off, and then on top of that, they added another 20% off. I don't know why, but I'm not complaining. So, the bag, with taxes and everything, ended up being $25, and I was like... In shop like I didn't think it was gonna be that inexpensive it's so pretty I love leather this is um, from nine west and I would not spend $60 on this because I just wouldn't um, but 25 hell yeah and it just has like this little thin strap that's adjustable which I love because I'm little so I want to be able to adjust my straps and then um, it has like three compartments and it has this first zipper which has my wallet and it has like this little print inside, which I don't really love or hate. I don't care for it. And then it has this other little compartment, which is like those old school clutchy things. And I have my little makeup bag and then my little girly stuff, you know, just in case of emergencies. And here, I don't really have a lot. I just have my sunglasses and I just put whatever other crap I need to put in there. And then it also has like this little area right here. I don't really put anything in there, not yet. Those are all the things that I received and or purchased for Christmas. Oh, the last thing that I got for myself as an early Christmas gift was my semi-sweet chocolate bar palette from Too Faced. This is the brand new one. Um, this is beautiful. Like when I first saw it, I was like, wow, this is really pretty. When I first watched it, I was like, Meh. it's Some of the colors are not as richly pigmented when you swatch them, but when you apply it, they're amazing. Um, it's actually what I use to do my eye makeup today. 
I've heard some people prefer this one over the original chocolate bar, and then I've heard some people really just not like this one at all. Um, but personally, I love them. I love both of them. I have been using this, I think, religiously <laughs> ever since I got it. This is the only palette I've used, and I've mixed in some of the Makeup Geek Foil eyeshadows because I love those too. So yeah, now we're done with all the stuff that I got for Christmas. Um, again, you guys, I'm not trying to brag or anything. I'm just, I feel really grateful for everything that I got, and I love all the thought that was put into it and I just hope that you guys received everything that your little heart desired if you don't celebrate Christmas whatever it is that you celebrate I hope you have an awesome time doing it um, at the end of the day whatever holiday we do celebrate it's all about just family and love and appreciation and giving and helping and it's just it's a beautiful thing so yeah so that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for dealing with my nasally congested voice. And I hope that you guys have an awesome day. Please subscribe if you have not. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!